just because something has always been done a certain way does not mean that it's right. I truly feel like the next generation is going to look back at us and say, what were you even thinking? They're beautiful, they're intelligent, they're emotional, they're sensitive, they love their babies. My name is Robin Johnson and I'm the founder of Spring Farm Sanctuary, which is in Long Lake, Minnesota. Spring Farm Sanctuary is a place where I, I wanted to encourage others to live compassionately. And by that I mean um, coming here and interacting with the animals and listening to their stories. My hope is to have that uh, connection that they can see these animals as living beautiful beings that deserve their life as much as you and I and what we are doing to these animals um, is horrendous. I think one of the things people would be the most surprised about in the animal agricultural industry is um, the eggs, you know, eating eggs. Chickens, normally in the wild, they would lay maybe 15 eggs a year and the eggs that were you know, are getting raised in these factory farms are laying, you know, anywhere between 200 and 300. And so their bodies are spent. I mean, they're not meant to lay all those eggs. And what people don't realize is that when those eggs are hatched, the chicks are put on conveyor belt to separate them. And the male chicks go in one area, the females go in the other, and all those male chicks go, it's called a macerator. And what it is is really a grinder and they are ground up alive and this is perfectly legal um, chickens turkeys there's no federal protection there's no standards humane treatment there isn't any and these baby chicks are being ground up alive by the millions the other surprising fact that people tend to not know is dairy cows don't carry milk around with them. They need to be pregnant. The dairy cows are, are forcibly impregnated from a man's hand. Once they have their baby, that baby is taken away within the first 24 hours, usually. That mother screams for that baby, screams and cries and bellows. And that baby is taken away either to, you know, either live in a meal crate or to be, you know, raised um, to go through the whole dairy cycle itself. But that poor mother then, once she dries up, she's re-impregnated and goes through it again. And after, I think, three, four years, when she's totally spent, she'll go and get slaughtered for a hamburger. If you drink milk, you are supporting terrible cruelties and injustice for that mother. You are taking milk away from that baby calf and you're supporting slaughter because that dairy cow is going to get slaughtered at the end of her miserable life. To me, living compassionately um, means that I don't kill anything. I don't eat anything that blinks or, breed or bleeds, you know. Um, I treat every creature on this earth with kindness, with uh, respect, um, and I just, I feel like a better person, you know, and I feel like this is what nature intended, and, you know, some animals do have to eat, some animals are carnivores, and they do have to eat other animals, but we don't, so why not make the kinder, more compassionate choice, and not encourage suffering, and abuse, and neglect and misery. Choose not to support the industry, the animal agriculture industry. Choose kindness.